end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Once the Habs have a fucking Neuralink formation... Imagine and literally learning everything I know, everything I've spent my whole life studying, and just downloading your brain in a yes. second. Yeah, if you could do that electronically, where you're not juicing yourself up with amphetamines, but instead you're enhancing all the capabilities of your entire neural network. Yeah. Crazy. Bro, we're going to be robots. We're going to be cyber people. No, I mean, I do think that there's a potential path here which is and we're really getting into science fiction or pretty, pretty, you know sort of uh, advanced science stuff but having some sort of uh, merger with biological intelligence and machine intelligence what what the fourth industrial revolution will lead to is a fusion of our physical our digital and our biological identities. Imagine being able to text or send email using only your thoughts. It's more than just wishful thinking. Our children will wonder, how could you possibly live in a world where you had to touch the screen and you had a mouse and you had to type? Everybody just thinks and types, makes documents, controls cars. Computers are getting smaller and faster and eventually the time will come when a child is implanted with a little mission back here and will learn to control the chip in the same way that you learn to control your bodily functions and your voice and your movements. Implant in your brain. That will let you control your mobile devices and computers and all these digital things in the future. Hello? AKA control your ass. Can you imagine that in 10 years when we are sitting here, we have an implant in our uh, brains? And um, I can immediately feel, because you all will have implants, I can, and we measure your, your brain waves, and I can immediately tell you how the people react, or I can feel uh, how the people react uh, to your answers. Uh, is it imaginable? There are reports that Elon Musk had already had a ship implanted in the human brain in the USA. What do you think of that? So you, you'll be directly linked to the internet, to your computer and stuff like that. That's Mark of the Beast technology, guys. This is the Mark of the Beast. This is how far we've come, that we can actually implant devices in the brain so that we can control regular computer tablets with our thoughts. Obviously, the implications for people who are paralyzed are huge, but it's also a pretty huge step for humanity in general, just another step in the growing field of neural implants. Scientists are now working on implants that can boost our memories, help manage psychiatric illnesses, and so much more. Elon Musk says he's about to announce a product from his company, Neuralink, that will make anyone superhuman, capable of competing with any artificial intelligence. The melding of the human brain to computer brain is only in its infancy and is bound to be growing. Elon Musk with a man who is paralyzed. He's had a microchip implanted in his brain and says this has already changed his life. We watched him control a computer and play online chess, moving the pieces with his thoughts. This morning, a major scientific advancement. It was like uh, using the force. Elon Musk's Neuralink introducing the world to who they say is their first patient with a brain-computer implant. I love playing chess, and so this is one of the things that y'all have enabled me to do, something that I wasn't able to really do much the last few years. Nolan Arbaugh received the implant in January. He's seen during the live stream directing the computer cursor to make his moves. The goal of Elon Musk's startup is to help people living with debilitating conditions, including paralysis, communicate and control external devices with their thoughts. The device is designed to interpret your neural activity so you can operate a computer or a smartphone by simply thinking.
The FDA approved Neuralink for human trials last May. Last year, Swiss researchers combined artificial intelligence and brain and spine implants to help this man paralyzed in a motorcycle accident walk again. In August, this woman, who had lost her voice to paralysis, was able to have a conversation with her husband again with the help of a mind-controlled avatar. To not make me laugh. 29-year-old Arbaugh became a quadriplegic after a diving accident. He says he's now thankful for the freedom the device gives him, but he does say there's still a ways to go. Yeah, I mean, it's not perfect. I would say that they, we have run into some issues. I don't want people to think that it is like this is the end of the journey. There's still a lot of work to be done, um, but it has already changed my life. And this patient did refer to the surgery as super easy. He says he was released the next day and has no cognitive impairments. Pretty incredible to just watch a play. Fascinating. Yeah. Really amazing. Unbelievable. I think the next step is going to be a hive, a hive brain uh, that's already been done in rats. You can link multiple brains. And as a hive, they solve problems much faster than the individual uh, rat. So that technology is here. I'm, I'm assuming they'll link people. It, it enables you to communicate probably wirelessly in some way yes. allows someone else to help control your access to your own memories mm -hmm. but it can also implant memories or eliminate remove memories yes that's what i'm saying yes you can right. delete them or add them so you don't know for sure it's like that that arnold schwarzenegger movie total recall, total recall.